this vlog is going to be the start of all things about us getting ready to PCS to our new duty station. Um, we found out about a year ago about where we were going and then shortly after that we kind of told everybody, told our families and friends. Um, the only thing we haven't done was kind of start going through anything with the uh, vlogging. So we are PCSing to Naples, Italy, actually in like a month. So we have a lot going on and I thought I would just take you guys through some things that we have done since we have found out. And then the next few vlogs will probably be like the house being packed up and then like some other stuff that we've got to get done. So I will start off first thing. Once we found out that we were going to be going overseas, I started the process of changing my name on my passport and then applying for Wiley a passport for a minor. Um, some things about doing that with a minor um, you have to know about is both parents have to be present at the time of the application. When I started applying for Wiley's passport, Rusty was deployed and I thought I had sent in enough documents to get him his application going, but it ended up not being enough. And we applied about this time last year and it was like pretty much every couple months we would get a letter in the mail saying, we need this, we need that. Um, we sent in a notary, um, which got lost in the mail at the end of last year and we decided to forgo that application. It had been over 90 days um, as since they sent us the last letter with the notary form. So basically after 90 days, they canceled that application. So I'm assuming that's what happened. Um, and so after the new year, we went and submitted a new one, a new application for Wiley. Both me and Rusty were there and uh, we did expedite it so hopefully that will get to us um, by the end of this month so fingers crossed on that i haven't checked the status of it yet but we submitted that a few weeks ago but hopefully everything is moving in the right direction as far as his passport goes and uh, we'll kind of go from there okay the second thing that we started working on for our pcs um, was after Rusty got back from deployment back in July of last year. He, at the time, had already had his um, medical screening done because if you're the military person, you get your medical screening done through your command. So he, has his, he had his done while he was on the ship. And then when he got back, we started the process of trying to get mine and Wiley's overseas screening done. So basically what you do here in San Diego, the over screening, overseas screening office is up in Point Loma at the Liberty Station area. So um, we had gone up there and we got the overseas suitability screening for dependents. I will show you uh, kind of what this is. So it's just a packet and then if you look these are all the things that you have to have in order for this to be signed off on so I basically you get this packet you fill it out there's a bunch of papers in here that you have to have filled out and then main thing for dependents is you had to have a recent like just a dental checkup um, you had to have a recent physical and then the thing for women you have to have your most recent pap smear results and then with covid and everything we have to be vaccinated so that was kind of basically the gist of it between me and wiley having to get appointments scheduled and dental you know exams done that probably took us about two months worth of like back and forth but we finally got everything and we um, had rusty take this back up there and he, we ended up getting a call like a week later from one of the doctors just because they're not doing in-person like visits. So they did a pretty much a telemed appointment, which basically was them calling me saying, am I who I am? Is my son who he is? And they were like, yep, looks like everything's here. And they literally signed off on it and was like, okay, your husband can come back and pick it up. 
So two months worth of back and forth and going to that office, I feel like a dozen times it seemed we finally got it all taken care of. That was the second thing that we worked on um, after Rusty got back. So the third thing that we did was we applied for our government issued passport. So this, these are a no fee passport fee. Um, when you go through your transportation office at your base that you're at, and it basically um, is no, no charge for this. So um, I do have my personal one and the difference between like a personal. So this page right here is the one with your ID on it. So this one's pretty flimsy. However, in your government one, that page is solid. It's like plastic. So that is the difference between a government passport and your personal. So, but we have both. Um, the past, our personal ones are basically going to be for us to travel um, within the U, uh, EU and then even potentially outside of the EU while we are over there. The government passport basically just gets us into Italy or into the EU for military purposes. But uh, we also wanted to have our passports for traveling elsewhere over there while we were there. So that was the third thing that we worked on. Let me think. The most recent thing that we have done is we have submitted all the paperwork for the movers to come and pack our home. We are about a week and a half from them coming. I feel like I'm like feeling okay about it. Um, you know, we went from a two bedroom down to a one bedroom for the time being while we were here after Rusty's deployment between his deployment ending and then between us going uh, to our next duty station. So we've been uh, in this apartment here about eight months by the time everything's done and said. They are coming to pack everything and we also have a second pack after the initial full house is taken, which will be our unaccompanied baggage, which will be just the stuff that we keep for, uh, to live on. So, um, if you have any kind of questions about that, feel free to comment them. I know it's a lot, you know, of information that I'm giving you guys, but basically they're gonna come pack our stuff up about middle of February, and then uh, in the beginning of March, they'll come back and pick up all the stuff that we kept to sustain life for the few weeks without our home goods. So uh, we did that, submitted, and got that all taken care of. The Next thing that we did was both me and Rusty went and got our international driver's license, triple A. They are the only people who do international driver's license. So we went in and we just had to fill out a quick form. It wasn't nothing crazy. You have to have a passport picture if you need to know. Basically, they just kind of fill it out. This is what it looks like on the inside. And then all you do is you tell them when you want it to like go into effect, uh, which ours won't go until into effect until like the end of March once we're over there. And then these are good for a year. So you do have to reapply every year um, to keep this international driving permit um, up to date. But yeah, that was super simple. Went down to AAA, um, probably waited 25-ish minutes probably only took like 10 between me and Rusty to get the actual little booklet here for your driver's permit for international driving. So the next step that we have to do is apply for our visas. Just so you know, certain countries require a visa and certain countries don't. Italy is one of those countries that does require a visa. So we uh, have that ready. It's all filled out. Um, I'm probably gonna look it over again um, for both me and Wiley. Um, the dependents are the only one who has to have a visa. With that being said, just so you know, you cannot apply for your visa until 30 days prior to you being there. So we are planning on going back this next week and then hopefully we'll be able to submit that and get that sent off to be processed. One thing that you have to have is a 
there's a parental consent for minor children. Everything with minors is like more in depth, you know, as you can tell, because they want to make sure that you are who you are and that this child is yours, you know, kind of thing. I understand, but it's a lot of extra steps for um, us to do. However, there is a form you have to get signed and it has to be done by a notary. So just keep that in mind. But everything else you kind of do on your own, it's another form, another packet, you fill it out and then you're good to go. This one, you also have to have a passport picture. So go ahead and when you get a passport picture, get like, go ahead and get like four of them, you know, because you're gonna need it for several things. So your passport, uh, the international driver's permit, your visa, um, your government uh, passport, if you haven't done, like if you don't have your, uh, pass, your personal passport already, you'll need that for that. And then your government issued passport. So like that's already right there, that's four things. And you might as well just go ahead and get four pictures um, to be able to have your bases covered. Um, we've had to go get several now and it's like $15 each time you go. So just passport photos, I'd get like four of them when you do go. I'm trying to think what else. Recently, within the past couple weeks, we have officially got our flights booked. We are going to be doing a MAC flight, which I'm not really sure how those work. They're definitely different. Um, it's like a military flight specific. The reason why we are doing a MAC flight is because we have two pets. And instead of hassling with regular airlines, with flying overseas with pets, you know, cause you have to pay additional fees and like there's a whole bunch of stuff when it comes to that. So we just decided to do the MAC flight and uh, Milo, if you, I think you can see it, you might not be able to see it. Um, his crate's right over here that we just bought him a few weeks ago. Um, it's like his little safe space now. Um, I'm glad we did get it when we did because Wiley, he's two and he can be a little terror um, to Milo especially. So it kind of gives Milo a space to go and Wiley actually doesn't mess with it. Athena is our cat and she will just go in a soft carrier and she'll go into the cabin with us and she'll be underneath the seat in front of us. So we've got that taken care of. And then we actually have their vet appointment this week later on. And uh, we're gonna make sure we have all the paperwork, like all the things that we need, because each each country has different rules for each, you know, kind of animals that you bring into their country. So um, be sure to go look up on the USDA website about the country you're going to it'll list everything that you need to know as far as i am aware they both just had to have microchips um, that are iso compliant so that's a 15 number uh, microchip number which they both have um, they got those they've had microchips already so uh, they are compliant with their standard and then i think the only other thing is uh, rabies rabies is probably the only thing that most countries ever require. And so we're just gonna make sure that both of their rabies vaccines are appropriate according to their rules. And if not, then they'll both be getting a, a rabies vaccine. We're going this week to check that out and see what we need to do leading up. Um, so I think that is about it. I will update you guys along the way. If there's anything else that I can think of, um, I will try to put that in the next vlog. If you guys have any questions, um, feel free to comment them. I'll try to answer them as best I can. And we'll just kind of go from there. So hope you guys uh, got some kind of information out of this. These are not my typical kind of vlogs that I do, but I thought I would sit down and kind of go through some stuff that we have been doing. So we will go ahead and call it for this vlog and again like I said comment any questions you have go ahead and subscribe to our channel because we have a lot of PCS things coming up and then we will be in Italy soon so super excited and can't wait to take you guys along with us um, take care and we will see you guys in the next vlog bye